Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is just going to be a, a short video which you can use, a technique which you can use in the event that someone <laughs> has rejected you, okay? And you want to be able to move on from it. You know, you might have gone up to someone that you, not, not necessarily, you know, romantically, but it just could like be someone that you thought you'd like to get to know as a friend even. And they've blanked you or uh, you've asked them out on a date, a man or a woman, a uh, penguin, whatever, and they said, no, go away. Come back when you've got a smaller nose and a bigger willy. Whatever they might have said to you. I'm just using my own life experience here. Uh, only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And as I said, it's going to be a short, short video. So this is after the event. Okay, so if you have had a rejection from someone and it's affected you, how doesn't it affect it, Of course it's going to affect you because it's not nice, isn't it? But rejection, I've discovered in my older age, rejection is way better than regret. Seriously, regret is more painful long term than rejection. Because at least you've given it a go, at least you've tried. But anyway, here's what you can do <laughs> is imagine... That person again. So you can close your eyes if you need to. Think of that person in that situation where they rejected you. Um, before you do it, maybe get in touch with how you feel. Where are you on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being like really painful emotionally. And 1 being, ah, I don't care. If you're at 1, you probably don't need to watch this video. If you're at 10 or 9 or 8 or 7, whatever, and it feels uncomfortable or it feels really horrible, and you, f you know, for whatever reason you're feeling crappy about yourself, please don't. But if that's the case, then, you know, you can change this. Now, um, as I said, close your eyes if you need to, in order to visualize the person. And just imagine they're, they're in the same position as what they was when you spoke to them. And they're just frozen. Not frozen with ice, but just frozen in that moment, in time. And just look at them. Just look at them like, hmm, okay. The fact that they've actually rejected you means that that initial attraction, physical attraction, it's not going to be there anymore. It's impossible to still have that, really. Unless they did it nicely. But if they were rude, then whatever physical attraction you had towards that person is not going to be there. And you're going to notice that now as you look at them. Oh. They're not attractive anymore. Because of how you associate that person with the feelings that you had after that rejection. So just look them up and down, look them up and down, like, okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, obviously, because you, you asked them out, so you were physically attracted to them, perhaps, to start with. And just look at them and think, well, you're not all that, you know? You're not perfect. Mm, not really. And now just turn to the side, move around to the side of them, look at them from the side view. And you can see what they look like from the side. Maybe, oh, okay, they look a little bit different from the side. Because when you've got like a snapshot of someone, they don't always look great. You know, that's what the, 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 the newspapers love getting a picture of someone that makes them look awful when actually they might be beautiful normally. But just that one, you know, as they're getting into the car and they look like they're really farting or something, but they're not. And then move to the back of them. 
Just move to the back of the person, just see them from the back. Again, well, you, you're not special. You can say that to yourself, you're not that, that special really. You're not, you know, you're not really someone worth worrying about or getting upset about. Hmm. And now, what I want you to imagine is you can see through their clothes. Again, we're not going to be looking through them from the front, just from the back. But not anywhere above. It's going to be below the waist. And you can see through to their under, undergarment, underpants, knickers, whatever. And they're wearing white underpants or un, white knickers. And you have to step back because you can see there's skid marks on the underpants or on the knickers where they haven't wiped themselves properly. And you have to step back, you have to move backwards from them because that attraction that you had before has lessened, you know, to slightly. And as you look at that skid mark with your x-ray vision and you remember them saying, you know, whatever they said to you at the time, connecting that skid mark that you're seeing with those words, knowing that that's what was there when they said those words, whether it was uh, go away or I'm not interested or uh, come back when your breath doesn't smell of salmon, whatever they might have said to, I'm again, I'm using my own experiences here. And then step around again and just move around and see them face to face. And what you can do is you can rewind them a little bit, just rewind back a few seconds and replay what they said to you. And notice how it's changed your response to that how it's different and then step out again you know come back open your eyes now think of that person think of that rejection moment how do you feel now one to ten what's it gone down to So, lovely background sounds, so I'm going to go now. So, I hope that helped. Try it again. Do it more than once if you need to, but you might find that that's all you need to do. Let me know in the comments below in the video. I've not done this as a podcast. This is just a one-off. This is a video just for YouTube. Um, let me know how you get on. I'll be interested to hear. And maybe I'll do more videos like this for you. Take care. Lots of love. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Doing a lot of waving, aren't I? Bye.